up everybody? I'm Riley and Daddy Stone and we're working on our green lightning airplane. We are. This is actually your airplane. And we stopped working on it for a while. We have a list of to-dos. And we, uh, well, we haven't done them. No. Literally in like six months. But we're back. We got the two yellow wings up here. The green lightning with the horse on it. So that's exciting stuff right there. Um, so I just wanted to make this video for the week. This is the video for the week. Can you please explain to me real quick what the heck is going on? Come on, stand up. Come over here and check it out. What do you got in your hand, by the way? Uh, strippers. Stripping wires. She's stripping wires. We're getting ready to hook up some stuff. So show me the basics real quick of just what we got going on. Well, we're gonna glue, hot glue our um, our um, um, our. Yes. Radio? No. GPS. GPS. What does GPS stand for? Yeah, we haven't talked about it in a long time. No. What do you think it stands for? Something tracking? Yeah, yeah. Global. World. GP. Global. Positioning. S. System. Global positioning system. I'm pretty sure that's what it stands for. Anyway, Riley made this. So, she soldered this guy all up. I think I did the battery. You did everything else, including all these really tiny pins down here. Good job. So, the LED does uh, indicate that we do not have a good signal. And when it goes off, we have a good signal. And we've got the wires hooked up here. So, that's one. What else we got over here? Our Beagle Bone. Blue. Beagle Bone Blue. Yep, so we're running a Beagle Bone Blue with Lennox with our Drew Pilot. Okay. And and, and, and before we go on, you've got a couple things here. you got a 3-axis accelerometer, you have a barometer, and you have uh, all of your uh, servo outputs, and you got a lithium polymer battery input and a charger, 12-volt input, Wi-Fi, USB, a bunch of bu function buttons and a bunch of inputs outputs for things like uh, indexing servos and all kinds of stuff but we're just using a few input outputs and we're running Arju pilot using all the sensory on here is where we're doing our like fl flight leveling and altitude uh, with the barometer and the gps also anyway i want to explain that because we did not talk about it okay what's next our g our long tele teleport telemetry uh, radio. Long range telemetry radio. That's running at 915 megahertz. Um, we did hack this guy up, aka we ripped the uh, <laughs> thing apart, shorted some wires out, did some jump ring. I'll have to make a video eventually on this, but basically we've put in a port, a data port. You can see I scratched on the front what they are. So now we can use it as a receiver uh, on the airplane. It was supposed to be a ground station, that's why it says ground on it. But we hacked it to make it an air radio. So we took off the USB that used to live there and uh, hacked it into the chip to uh, receive our data. So we're gonna glue this in here. Um, that's what, actually what we're doing like legit right now. We're gonna get the hot glue and we're gonna glue that in there. Glue your GPS in there. What else you got going on here? Um, a bunch of wires? Yeah, okay, so I ran out of PPM receivers. PPM is uh, the type of signal that we're sending, or SBUS, either one of them. We're sending it to this BeagleBone input. But I ran out of uh, ppm only receivers and i didn't want to buy one so what we did is we took one of the receivers we have from spectrum elijah actually found this one in the desert yeah legit and we cleaned it up and it works great um somebody lost it fell out of their airplane blew up who knows but it was working great so we're going to use it i've actually flown with this and it seems to work fine we'll find out if it's fluky in the in, yeah, in, in this project we flew the other airplane which yeah. we thought was it was pretty jittery. We didn't know if it was this or it was the airplane, but we're pretty sure it's the airplane. Yeah, we're pretty sure. So we'll see because we're gonna get good signals here, and we'll be able to see what the signals are like in the actual Ardu pilot. What you got? You eating something? I'll be right there. So we basically have the outputs of this guy, one through six channels, one through six, connected to this guy, and this is a PPM receiver. So it basically takes the PPM. The, sorry, the PWM outputs from that standard servo stuff and turns them into this PPM output. And you can also do input output. You can reverse this. It's all. It's a really cool little thing. We, I bought this just in case, and now we're using it, so I'm glad I bought it uh, a while back. 
So we're going to connect this freelance wire here to the oscilloscope and make sure it is 3.3 volt output. Wait, we're connecting it to one of these? Yes. So, so this is our, this is the only wire that goes to our controller that just talks to that and then sends all the data in one wire instead of sending it through all these wires. Yeah. Wow. Um, and then as far as the airplane is concerned, we have the motor controller mounted in the bottom down there. It's a 50 amp, as you can see, and we mounted, uh, that under here so that the airflow can get. Uh, through that and then we put in these really fancy little things for fun that we 3d printed I think it looks freaking fantastic don't you and that allows for air to come in the front There's a pretty big hole in the front so the air will come in the front through the motor around the controller and out the sides we're hoping this creates a slight venturi effect as well and pulls air through um, the motor in case you're wondering is this guy you can look it up if you want go ahead look it up we got this guy from uh, the gentleman who sold us some random crap that we've been using for all kinds of builds. Yeah. Um, for pretty cheap, so thank you. And uh, the only thing we're missing in the electronics system is over there on the list. Battery. Yes, yeah, so we need the battery for the Beagle Ball and the battery for the actual, like, plane. We have them. We got some batteries floating around over here, but we need to actually, like... Make one. Cause yeah. We need, like, a big flat one instead of just, like, a big puffy one. Right. And because we're going to put it back here in the tail, we need some tail weight. I believe... Oh, actually, you know what? We need some nose weight, now that I think about it. Really? I think so. Because we're going to put a big old fat battery up there, and it almost wasn't enough. Remember, the center of gravity was, like, right here. Where the wing is? Yeah, it was, like, right there. Because the top and the bottom wing is forward and back so it's like right between these two anyway i just wanted to make this week's video of an overview of what the heck we're doing <laughs> and the fact that you may not see this for another couple of months because well quite frankly we're almost done but we got a lot to do so it looks like we're almost done but we got to do a lot of testing but honestly i think we'll be fine I'm Ooh, wide angle the what i put a wide angle on for a second <laughs> okay that's your overview we do have um the servos in the wing, whoops, and the servos in the plane, and um, yeah, well, more on that in the future. Oh, the only thing we're missing is uh, the uh, current voltage sensing for the motor and motor controller, which then we can limit the uh, actual current from the beagle bone uh, out to the motor, because again, our servo outputs are, are here, so that allows us to uh, to actually voltage and current control our flight, so we don't burn up the motor. Or the controller. I got big tweezers. My Atlanta. Any last words on this project for the time being? This is fun. You like it? Yes. We are having fun. Good job. I don't even know what's happening right now. Boom. Okay, we'll see you. Thanks for watching. God bless. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think. And uh, yeah, this that, that's this week's video, man. These are going to be random videos this year. I, I My New Year's resolution that you don't know about yet is I'm going to post one video every week, which I used to do. But it's going to be very random. Might be just me talking. Might be doing something with you guys. It might be literally me sitting in the bathroom. I, I honestly have no idea. I honestly have no idea. I'm going to randomly do this this year. But I'm going to try to keep them in the loop for these little things we've been doing. See ya. God bless. Read the Bible more. And I'll see you in a little while. Bye.